Okay, how do we do an if else in the message filters? So if I go to message filters, if we check it out, uh, this was something we did last time. Add recipient, it's active, active, and uh, yeah, if you don't know about this, please refer to my previous video. Now, how do we do if else in message filters? Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new filter. I'm gonna name it test. And let's say, I'm gonna just, you know, just show you the structure. Otherwise you don't really need to make such a, such a message filter. It doesn't make much sense to me. But anyways, uh, I just wanna explain, you, uh, explain to you guys how you would make um, an if else message filter if you ever wanna make one. Let's say, um, Asan at Cisco.com. The mail from the condition is going to be Asan at Cisco.com. If that's the mail from, I'm going to start uh, the braces here and uh, let's say I want to log an entry. And the log entry is going to be um, email from, or that, that, from Asan. Close it off now. I'm going to close it right here. And I'm going to say else again gonna start the curly brace here so I'm gonna say if the mail is from um, Asan at Cisco.com go ahead and log an entry email from Asan else what do you want to do let's say I just want to log an entry which says the log entry says email not from Asan you can say at Cisco.com as well, that's completely a choice. I mean, as I said, it's arbitrary. I'm gonna close it off, and as we discussed, we gotta um, end it with a dot in a separate line. Hit enter, and uh, there you go. One filters added. Now, in this can uh, this message filter, what we did was if mail from is equal to is equal to uh, like um, the contains um, operator here. It's on at cisco.com, go ahead and log an entry. Else, go ahead and log an entry for everything else. Well, let's say if we want, don't want to do that and we just want to log an entry uh, for something else and, want to, and we want to check it out inside the else loop. How do we do that? Um, let's say we create a filter for that, name it test2. Um, let's keep it together. And let's say if um, mail from contains Hassan at cisco.com and start the brace and let's say log an entry stating that my bad okay I just did that anyways let me just copy it from here okay email from Hassan great and uh, hit enter uh, close it off let's say else Start the brace, check again if mail from contains. Let's say this time we want to check if the mail is for Shurgeel at if the mail is for uh, from Shurgeel at Cisco.com. Let's say, for example, and uh, I go ahead and start the brace. I say log an entry which states what. Email from Shurjil. Okay, close it off. And this is for the if. Okay, this one's going to be for this else. As we know, for the if, we had the starting and the ending brace. Else started, if started. So we have two open curly braces right now. We close one, we close the second one. I hit enter and the dot in a separate line hit enter and we're good great list okay test and test two and if we want to check the details as we saw in the last video so i get um uh, i go ahead and uh, run this command of detail it's asking me enter the filter name number or the range so i'm going to go with three this time and it shows me this is what you did with this filter and if I want to check, um, let's say, details for the other one, I'll, I'll go for four, and there you go. Email from Hassan, and then else if. Now, let's say, okay, you check the list, you're like, okay, I don't, I don't want test at this place. 
Okay, I want it to be here at number one, or test two to be at number one. What do you exactly do in that case? Well, you have this option in that case, move. So you can go ahead and run the move command. You can enter the filter name number or the range to move. Let's say I want to move number four. Enter the target filter position. I want it at number one. That's it, one filters move. It's that easy, it's that simple, okay? Now we check the move command as well. Let me go ahead and run the list command and you see test two. It has, uh, it, it's at number one, but you see that add underscore recipient has been moved to position number two. That means it just shifted one place. And then you have swap what was at number two. It went to number three and then you have test at number four, which was at number um, three. Well, you can move it as you want. Okay, now let's say you want an if within an if, right? Like a nested if condition. Now I can go ahead and create a new filter. I'm gonna name it test three this time. Well, no big deal, no problems. Okay, let's say test five. I guess I, I created test three just a while back and I deleted test one and test two. Anyways, so test five, you don't name filters like that, right? So this is just for this video that I'm doing. Anyways, so I'm going to say if sender group equals equals, let's say allowed list, and this is going to be the first condition. I'm not going to go for else or log entry or anything like that. I'm just going to say if again, let's say mail from. Now at this point in time, this one's going to be boss at gmail.com and I'm gonna say okay let's just close it off start another curly brace so this has not yet closed this curly brace is still open and we have another uh, curly brace open so this curly brace opens and then we have this if that means this if is within the above if and that makes it a nested if condition I'm going to say log an entry in that case. And uh, this one's going to be email from, let's say, a boss. I'll close it off. Close this brace. And then the last one. So this brace is actually this brace. Right? So go ahead and hit enter. A dot in a separate line. Hit enter. And there you go. One filters added. Now I just wanted to cover one more thing right here, real quick. Now, all of these, uh, out of all these options that you would have checked here, you really don't have an option to edit the message filter. You have new, delete, import, export, move, set, list, detail, log, config, rollover, now. But you don't have edit. So I have this list of message filters, but I don't have an option to edit any filter. Like for, for example, um, if I check the details for number one, let's say I have if rcpt-2 contains test.com, then go ahead and notify as a boss at cisco.com. No, let's say I don't want to do that. I want to notify somebody else um, using this message filter, or I want to notify somebody else as well, and as a boss at cisco.com as well. So I need to edit this message filter. Now, can I do that? No, I cannot. I don't have an option to edit. So in that case, what I'd, um, I'd be required to do is that just copy this message filter, put it in a text uh, text editor, and go ahead and add that line. You gotta delete this one, or I would recommend making it inactive just for some time, just to make sure, uh, until and unless you're not 100% sure that you get the new filter. Once you're done with that, we'll go ahead and delete this one, add the new filter, um, and that's pretty much it. And don't forget to commit. Always make sure that you commit. Okay. And mention the comments as well. So commit and added a message filter for so and so. Okay. Okay. It's completely your choice. And you should make it a habit. Okay. There you go. So we're done with that as well. Conditions, uh, double if, you cannot edit. We got through that part as well. Okay, similarly, you can have an if 
uh, if, else, and then that's it. So it's going to be like if, and then if, and then um, else, and uh, um, that's pretty much it. So uh, this is how you can have um, the filter as well. You don't necessarily have to have an if, uh, else for this if. Um, you can have an else for this if, but not necessarily for that one. So yeah, but you gotta close the brace for the second if uh, right here before you start the else for this if, right? But anyways, um, if you want me to show you some examples on that as well, or any complex filters, you can, uh, yeah, put your requests in the comments section. I'll be very happy to do that. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you liked the video and you learned something new from it. In case you want me to cover anything else, just let me know in the comments section. I'll be very happy to do that. Uh, I'm going to put the user guide link in the description below. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video. Kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video as well. Well, that, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Goodbye.